Yes, yes. Good evening, fellow Groove Riders. Will from Wheels Electrical Services. In tonight's episode, I've absolutely had to scrape together a bit of a video. What it was is uh, been doing a lot of uh, testing in private houses, but we come across an absolute classic industrial unit with absolute cluster mess of electric. Some of it I've never sort of seen before. But what we do is we get into it and roll the beats. What I do is I'll uh, record Reese taking a tee shot for you as well. So, right. Do us a favour, like the channel, subscribe, uh, flip the bell because uh, in this video there's going to be a lot of, uh, lot of um, farmyard classics. Bosh. Don't forget, if you're going to be anything, be electric. Yes, Rosie, baby. Tonight's episode, we've had a little bit of a change of her plan because what I was going to do is, I'll, well, I still will, but I'll give you a guided tour of this three phase fuse board and just have a general chat about fuse boards. But, when we come here, because obviously as we do, I've got Ebsy behind the camera, say hello Ebs. You're right. He's uh, obviously what we always discuss, what we're going to find and what we're going to do and all that sort of stuff. And a background of this unit, we've already been in here, but we haven't taken the board cover off. And now what we've seen, which I'll show you in a minute, is a definite, but we, we know this is a rewire anyway, don't we? Because we're going to put four lights in here, just showing these lights, Ebs. So even the landlord said that he wanted all the, he wanted it all rewired. What there is also there is some sub mate, so there's a sub meter that goes out to some containers and all that, so that's got to stay. But what we'll probably do, because like a few of the other units, what we've already done, it's got loads of redundant stuff in it, but because this is a like a D-lapse where it's change of change of uh, tenants, we're just gonna rip all this out because because they're not it's only gonna be used as storage, isn't it? It's not a warehouse. So I don't even know if they're going to need free phase, to be honest. So, Probably not. But I'll speak to Andrew and see what he wants to do, you know. But, um, all right, if I we'll come closer, yeah, and we go through bits, bits and bobs. Do you want to talk them through it, Ebsia? Yeah, I'll tell you what, I'll film you and you can talk us through it. Yeah, go on then, mate. So what's the problem? So obviously we've got the... The, the way it works is, yeah, it's just quickly. So there's a buzz bar the other side. I put a picture up. It comes into that. So that's obviously basic insulation. Ain't even got an armoured gland, is it? Then that goes for 100 milliamps because we're on a, fa a farm. So the problem is there is what's the problem with 100 milliamps? Um, Something to do with this. It's going to take, take longer to disconnect, isn't it? Yeah, but what do you need for sockets? Oh, you need 30 milliamps. Yeah, so obviously for fault is like for fire and stuff like that, which is for overhead lines, which I don't think it's actually got anymore. But yeah, that is the issue. So we would have, we would have, that's what we thought we was going to do is maybe repair all this. Yeah, so show us around what you found, what made it. The first what, thing I saw was like that. I'll keep it for a while. <laughs> yeah, look at that. It's brilliant. Look, someone's actually fitted it to the wood. Bolted it and screwed it on. Bolted it and screwed it on and then put a little bit of uh, tape. Yeah, because it's quite funny, really, because when I first come in here and then she was like, oh, it needs a board change, I was thinking it was just like maybe some of this little bit of corrosion there. Which and obviously, a 30 million holes at the bottom. Yeah, the 30 million holes. But obviously all that could be repaired. Look, there's no uh, protection for the tails and all that yeah the armors like that's what makes you laugh is that someone's someone's got the noddle to be able to put a 10 b clamp or a bs uh bs 951 clamp on that Even put but, a they, on it well. but they can't do the they can't actually do the gland yeah. you know what i mean it's pretty poor so as i say this is a sub meter that goes to that one that goes out to the containers we do presume we do presume well, well, we're gonna to have to take some of this lid off because that's so that's six mil. So those, so I'll show you over here. So I presume that the the, the one that's got the armor gland is gonna be this one, Ebs, at the top, and I reckon this is gonna be the load for outside, and that's the six mil that goes through that meter. Yeah. Yeah. So at some point we're gonna to have to get access into all them unit, all them things. But yeah, what we presume we're going to do is strip out all this trunk in and then uh, probably put four lights, I reckon, four, like five foot vapor proofs on chains, something like that. And I think uh, I think uh, Mickey was on about having a uh, socket there and a socket there, which we're doing armoured. We obviously have to get the stick. There's going to be the only uh, 
the only real things we have to bond in here is probably this, the uh, structural steel. You know what I mean? So we get that on each of them because there's no water. There's obviously no gas. It's literally middle of nowhere sort of caper. I'm not too sure if he's going to want, if he needs free phase or, or single phase would be okay. Because there's a quite a difference in price, but we'll see what he says. But yeah, what we'll probably do is either put the main switch as a 100 milliamps with an RCD, RCDs, but yeah. It's a classic, that is, isn't it? I don't think that's that's as rough as you can get. So some of the few things, here, yeah, hold the camera back there. Yeah. Some of the few things that I was gonna show you, like this condensation, what is all that stuff? It's damp, isn't it? Is it damp? Or bit Yeah, no, it's not damp. It's like, a, it's like sap or something like that, isn't it? It's like an oil. Yeah. Yeah, so what, one of the interesting things is with these these uh, fuse boards, these, uh, these are the, uh, well, everyone that I've ever met has always called these Merlin Duran, yeah? But if you look, if you go in, it's like Merlin Gurlin, you know what I mean? But everyone calls them Merlin Duran. They're, they're now been bought out by Schneider. And these are probably, these for quite a few years, and I think they probably still are, uh, the elite and one of the things i do really love about these boards with you know obviously this still september say safe isolation september and all that is with these these iso boards is that you can just slide that over you've seen these before haven't you yeah so you slide them over then these circuits can never work so obviously you can put your board cover on and all stuff like that because everyone knows like you know you can just turn off a breaker, lock it off, you know, like we, we tend to take take the breaker and the neutral out the uh, circuit, don't we? Then rather lock it, lock it off and yeah, stuff yeah. like that because it's just, it's just quicker and easier. And that's how we find to do it than rather do it that way. But yeah, I'm surprised. I'm surprised a lot of other companies don't do this because I should imagine back in the day, this was probably painting the like, idea by them. But this, the, you know, this board's probably as old as, as probably as old as, Probably as old as me, Ebbs, you know what I mean? Yes, I probably had a fringe when this was put in, didn't I? Well, this is this, by the looks of it, see all these little holes? This ball's probably lived in a couple of factories before it got yeah. here, didn't it? You know what I mean? But well, that's the state of it all, look. See the, yeah, see that bit of conjure up there, Ebbs? Show them. Yeah? So yeah, one of the main problems is like this circuit here is not, got uh 30 milliamps you know what i mean and it's only socket could be used outside can't it so and all that and it's just dreadful looking at the tiles <laughs> what we'll probably do with the new board is i might even get a hager one with the meter built in and then just bring the armor straight into the board yeah you know what i mean and then just do it that way or see how much that costs or or just even bolt an adaptable box on the on the bottom something like that you know what i mean yep because I'm not too sure, I'm not too sure with the free phase, I have to ask Andrew whether, because I don't think anyone's bright enough to have probably done all these different circuits for all these different things on different, on the three different phases. I don't know, we have to break it down and get into it. Look, so, <laughs> see that? Someone's been hanging up some stuff with some 16 mil worth there. <laughs> ching, ching. Ching, ching. Going yes, it's going straight on my uh, re regrow my fringe campaign. Now have Christmas work there, man. <laughs> yeah? We'll probably do that later. Like, like, what's that? A bit of buzz bath. What on earth has that come out of? That is a bit of buzz bath as well, isn't it? Yeah. Well, it's clearly not even this one either, is it? Yeah, it's got raw plugs, it's got everything. It's absolutely dreadful. Right, let's get into it, yeah? Yeah, so uh, we're just testing. <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> Horrific. Yeah, because what we're finding is this is a time delayed one, this one as well. So we have got the setting on our meter, so we will be able to time time set, yeah? pretty rare that you get them is it? yeah pretty rare as in i it's think i've only rare. probably seen you know and bear in mind i've done i've done years of testing i think I yeah yeah but where on earth did that live <laughs> you know what I mean? it's like that, but that's not to say that that enclosure was that rc it's yeah, probably yeah. two different ones so yeah 
Look at that bad boy. But as I say, it's all being rewired, but I thought it'd be quite interesting. Look, that conjure. This is just where people have like rent it out and then they just get their mates around to sort it out for them. And as long, it. And it, yeah, as long as it works, I suppose, you know, that's probably the way it was seen in them days, wasn't it? But that is horrific, isn't it? Yeah, so what we're finding is it's tripping every single time. But I wonder if that's because you've not got it on the time delay setting. And is that where the earth is coming from? Look, so the whole earth for this place is off that but the uh, clamp there. What earth did you, have you got a result yet? No, I didn't. Yeah, quickly just out of interest, just do a quick test on there. Just do a, just do a high, too high. Just on that bottom one. So obviously this is a four pole one as well, which they all are. And I'll tell you what is also a bit weird, which you don't see very often, because that is another thing that we'd always say, you know, like with a, a consumer unit, the distribution board, yeah. one of the main things that uh, is the difference between them is, uh, what do you think is the main di difference between them? Yeah. I'll give you a clue, it's, it's around there. But this one has got the odd one there. Yeah? Oh, oh, the switch neutral? Yes, guys. <laughs> yeah, that's the main thing, because most things, most distribution boards don't have, they only have a free pole, don't they? Yes, I love that, guys. A proper coming out of it. That weren't even staged, either. Oh, we could have <laughs> staged that. <laughs> yeah, so that's pretty decent, isn't it? Considering that's all coming off that earth, which he's got up there. Wow. There's obviously nothing wrong with using the uh, the banding and all that, or the, the armoring of the uh, still one armor cable. It's mm, just like that. you're not supposed to use a 10 meter clamp. Right, so we've uh, just had the landlord down. We just gave him a call to get him up here to have a look because we, we, as I've already mentioned, that we're going to rewire this. But whilst I've been going looking at other bits with that, Ebbs has actually had a little uh, test up and all that. So. But a few of the things that what we've found is, which I've probably shown you, is these light fittings. Let's see, it's got the JB, twin and earth and all that. So what we're probably going to do is we're going to do four, uh, four, four that uh, five foot, maybe five foot, six foot uh, vapor proof light fittings, all with uh, jack chain and plug in ceiling roses. We'll probably actually do a video of it as well. Socket. So the containers are going to be disconnected this trunk is all gonna go. Uh, it's gonna have two sockets there. We're actually gonna convert this to single phase. So we're just gonna have a single phase consumer unit. Like, uh, obviously we've, uh, I don't think it needs 100 milliamps. I don't think it needs it because it's, we might still, well, we're not gonna certainly not use that one. What we'll probably do is probably put that armored into a, a, a new isolator and then uh, just come off with a single phase with that and then so that meter is going to go that meter so we're still going to have that three phase meter i'm not too sure yeah i'm not too sure how we're going to do that i don't know whether it's gonna worth coming off for that we'll figure that out and all that's going to go because it don't need to look at the size of it it's spin round there because you don't really need that but obviously if it's ever going to be a workshop for a mechanic or anything who needs it for a welder then obviously it can easily be converted back, but I think that's the best way because else, else, let's have it right. It's crap, isn't it? And obviously we're gonna have to get some, uh, we're gonna have to get a bond into this structural steel as well. Yeah, we obviously don't need it on the uh, the roller shutter because that's obviously uh, extraneous, isn't it? Yeah, but it's all good. So like, holes in there, there, basic insulation. The neutral, that is hilarious. The, the armoured, which is all going to be disconnected. There's the bit of corrosion and all that. Sad, isn't it? Look, it, it's so badly done. Look, the earth, earth is just in a normal terminal. No support. That is broken. There's so many holes. It's like a colander, isn't it? Is it colander or what is it? A sieve colander? Uh, I don't know. It's the same thing, isn't it? <laughs> Right, thanks for watching, and don't forget, if you're gonna be anything in the beer lecture, keep it well. Me and Ebsy are working on a Sunday, and we absolutely yeah. tested. Give them a quick look. Bunny!
Selaya.